members of the KKK and police kneeling on the neck of a black man that has caused controversy and won the ISD and has been canceled as a lesson after it was shown to 400 eighth graders at Cooper Junior High. A substitute teacher in the district who happens to be a mother to an eighth grader herself gave us some context reading the assignment attached to the cartoon. In the midst of the protests following George Floyd's death, some have criticized protesters for creating chaos. Others say violence is instigated by outside extremist groups, and many see police initiating violence at the protests. The school district says it was a social studies lesson about the First Amendment that was not a part of school curriculum, resources, or documents. An email from the school principal to parents further indicates that teachers wanted to provide the students with current events to analyze the Bill of Rights. What is cartoon number one saying about U.S. history and the death of George Floyd? The district is inundated with comments on Facebook calling for the firing of any and all teachers behind the lesson. Many parents have been more vocal about that online than in front of our camera. We reached out to some of the posters for comment, but none responded. And some Wiley ISD parents we talked to did not want to go on camera, but told us that they want the teacher fired. The National Fraternal Order of Police calls likening officers to slave owners and Klansmen abhorrent. And Wiley ISD apologized to its school resource officers and all law enforcement for what it calls a lesson that is divisive to its community. But Kristen Centers sees the cartoon as more of a commentary on historic oppression. This is a truth that's uncomfortable for many. It's a truth that's uncomfortable for me. If you look at the depiction, the black man is always on the ground. Her eighth grade son was assigned this lesson. This picture is depicting years of oppression and it is showing why we protest. So to me, it's a conversation that we need to have. It's an uncomfortable conversation and not one that everyone wants to confront but it is still a conversation that we all need to, to have. They're not saying that it's right or wrong. They're not even giving their judgment on it. They're asking the kids to think critically. That's what we want our kids to do. We want them to be critical thinkers. That's the job of these teachers. Tammy Perdomo believes the political cartoon has been taken out of context. A spokesperson for the district says there have been no developments in moving forward with firing any teachers because of the lesson. This assumption that these teachers were pushing this um, political agenda and anti-police message. I think that's ridiculous. I don't believe at all that that's what these teachers were doing. The school district has not provided us directly with the full lesson. That information has come to us from parents and police.